It cut, okay, that's fucking dumb. Why would you do? Why would you do? Mm. Um, okay, let me just. Are you trying to play lol? Uh, Windows 8 is stupid with Skype. That's that's all. Why? That's it's all owned stupid. by Microsoft. Why would it be stupid? Just keep it. Because Microsoft is stupid. Fucking, they don't know how to do their own shit. Microsoft you, is did, garbage. Did you just call Amanda Windows 8? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what? See what I did there? Zing. <laughs> I zung him. Anyways, all right. So uh, this week we got uh, Sean, Matt, and Brandon. Not Compo. And Alex, the other Matt. joining us from yes, Skype. Right, all the way from Ottawa. Yeah. The city that never sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Except for when it's 7 o'clock at night. And then it's... Hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we have one street for downtown. That's good. Hey, yeah, we've got like five. Five streets for downtown. <laughs> no, their downtown's pretty big. It just closes no, that too. All right, whatever. We're not talking about oh. Ottawa. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's just, it's a, it's a funny little story. From my house, I can walk to downtown, walk all around downtown, and then walk back in an hour and a half total. It's pretty weak. Yeah, it's not very big, but it's... That's not funny, that's sad. <laughs> that's what I said this week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyways, uh, I'm going to go into a couple of things that happened over the last week or two. Before Xbox dropped all its shit, because they pulled a 180. Yeah, because it was smarter. Yeah, it was definitely smarter. What they were doing right before they announced the 180 was that it was going to be completely region locked. It was only going to come out in 21 countries. And some of those countries didn't even include Poland. Okay? Like, Poland wasn't there. And one of the games that they showed, like The Witcher 3, is made in Poland. So that, that's just weird and okay, funny, I thought. So, there's an Xbox 180 now? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or, this makes sense. Yeah, no, they pulled the 180. It would be funny if they changed the name to Xbox 180. But <laughs> Imagine it was all a joke. It's like, or the, ah, X we the Xbox all. We trolled you all. <laughs> yeah, we're not really changing anything. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like a double troll. Oh, that would be, that would be fantastic. It's like when, on the release date, people are going to pick it up, and then there's just this huge banner with a troll face that falls on them. Oh, this is, this, is, this is inappropriate. And then they put it in, and it, you cannot turn this off. <laughs> now, that's the thing. <laughs> How long do you think that th it'll take in the Xbox One's life cycle before they might start implementing the old stuff? One year? A year. I give me a year. It's gonna start up. It's gonna say, "You mad, bro?" You <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you what do you well, mean by they're old? They still they still have all of those features in, and technically people can still choose to do them and nope. use them. No, Alex. they have the day one update. No, they pulled it. Reverts them. No, no, they pulled it. All the no, features that they were talking I they, about. I know that, but but the thing is, you, they still they said they need to do a day one update when you first turn on your Xbox One. Uh, yes. Before those changes will happen. So technically, all those changes have not yet been reverted because you need a day one update. So yeah, you never turn on your Xbox. The problem is, Alex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't start playing <laughs> games without you doing the update. And even if you could, there was a mandatory twenty four hour update before so if you had that as a feature the minute you start updating you're just like you know fucking yeah. yourself yeah, I guess. That's yeah. Dumb. <sighs> anyways yeah i could see them doing it eventually i don't know about a year or right away but what what do you, what do you mean by by doing it what, what going exactly? reverting back to what they originally were in terms of so you have to go 24 like, hours oh you have to be in, on in the uh, xbox once, once every 24 hours exactly in the xbox one life cycle <clears throat> when do you think that they might revert back to their original idea i don't know if they will you don't they probably won't just to, to mm -hmm. go with the ps no because now the playstation because the xbox 360 did so well because it came out before the playstation 3 it was sold for less than the playstation 3 it became an affordable alternative to the playstation 3 and i think that the playstation 4 swapped that yeah. And so I think Xbox One has to be mindful of everything it does now because it needs to catch up with what Sony has obviously taken the lead. I think, well, the only on. thing right now, big difference-wise, is the hundred bucks. That's it. Well, at the that's, moment, that's yes. a huge difference. At the moment, because yeah. they copied the the plus. Yes, but no. But what I'm saying is, yeah. But if you get an Xbox One, you're gonna get uh, yeah. gold, right? That's what I'm saying. So they copied the plus with the free games and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that brings me to my next point. So now that it's mandatory 
to have PlayStation Plus to play online multiplayer, do you see some of the bonuses not showing up as much? Like, all the old bonuses will still be there, right? But do you think they'll still come out as frequently as they used to? I think so. Probably. Just but to keep up with Xbox, yeah. Well, it depends how much Xbox does. Right now, there's like 200 bucks worth of free shit on P- on PlayStation Plus. Xbox One, One is going to have two... But they're releasing things. new stuff on there, too. Yeah. They're giving you free new stuff. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, do you think it'll slow down? Because they were releasing no. free stuff... No, what? I don't think it's going to slow down at all. I think PlayStation Plus? Plus? Yeah. I think it's going to slow down. Yeah? For sure. Because, do you have PlayStation Plus? No, yeah, I'm going to get it. It's actually become an epidemic. It's it's scary. Every <laughs> week, every week they're just like, here's four new games. Like, like they're they're challenging me. To How old are they though? <laughs> I find that's fun because you can't. What's it called? You can't play the old games on yeah. it, right? So they're giving you them back. I I kind of think that it's nice that they're kind of tricking people. I mean, the game that came out last week was uh, God God Eater or God God's Eater Burst, which what is a the really hell old, is that? It's it's like a Monster Hunter clone, which I was actually interested in playing. I actually wanted to buy it about a month back, but now I'm sort of going through a new mantra where I'm not buying games that are <laughs> super long. Anyways. Um, but it's free. But it's, exactly. But they're releasing older games that maybe there isn't just the demand for it, but it's nice that a lot of people maybe who hadn't had access to it are getting access to it. So I think from that perspective, it's nice. I mean, you can they could start eventually giving away PlayStation 1 titles, right? Yeah. yeah. It's free for people who don't own it. And I think that's a good... Because they have a lot of content. They might as well start to encourage people to feed into this PlayStation Plus system. Yeah, because when new stuff comes out, people buy it anyways, right? They're just kind of giving backlog. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then what once else? every six months or so, they need to, they'll need they release something that is like a blockbuster or like a heavy hitter. They released Spec Ops, I think, a couple months ago, oh, yeah. which was cool because I hadn't played it. I wanted to play it. That reinforced me wanting to promote, or sorry, to support um, PlayStation Plus. Mm-hmm. But now, if that all slows down, it kind of would kind of suck. Yes. But if the, it, it's just backlog stuff, so it's possible that it could go either way. Like, they have a lot of games still, though. Yeah, I mean, they've been doing it for how long? Um, Plus, two years, two three years. About so that, they still have. I'm sure. In light of what you just saw, I don't know, in light of what we're talking about, I don't know if they will slow down. I don't know if they can afford to slow down. It's sort of like, from a marketing perspective, they can't, they can't sell you for the same price something less, yeah. less value. Not to, not to mention they've become this thing, right? Like when you think places, much, you kind of have this idea of a bunch of free stuff and yeah. bonuses. And if they just kind of take it away, it's like bad image. It is. Well, not, exactly. not only that, but like I said, they have to keep up with the three, whatever. Places, three, six, yeah, but the one. The yeah, Xbox One is going to be keeping up with them. Well, yeah, they'll just think with the new games. Yeah. They're, what about send, they're giving out two new free games. Which games? Well, what if you sign up for it? Uh, I think Assassin's Creed was one of them. Oh, yeah. um, really? And something else like they I, were they were big titles. Which side, like, Xbox? Or? Yeah, on Xbox. Okay. Ugh, if you sign Assassin's up with their Creed. gold, they give you new games that are coming out that year. I'd rather have you punch me to death <laughs> than me play another. Hey, those boats are going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, you, Alex and Brandon? What do you think? About. Do you think they'll slow down? Or? Games, yeah. <laughs> free games are free <laughs> games, but then again, that brings me to the time when I would just download all my games, like especially when I, I modded my my Wii. And I would just <laughs> I modified my penis, <laughs> so um, and I pretty much downloaded every game that came out that got into seven or higher. And so four games, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all four. So every other Mario games. game, yeah. So like, I don't know. I had a good backlog of thirty, forty games that I had just in a spindle, like a DVD spindle. Yeah, and I would never play them because even like if it was like I don't know, say like the new Metroid that came out, it got really good ratings. And I played five minutes of it. Oh, yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that given the fact that it was free, okay. I had no actual value to the game. Whereas if I were to put some actual value, yeah, I, like 50 bucks, or even if it's something maybe like 30 or 20, at least there's some value to that game. So when I look at it, when I look back on it, it's like, damn, I paid money for this game. I should probably play it. <laughs> that makes some sense. It's more of a psychological thing than anything else, though. For yeah. me. Yeah. Alex? Yeah, I don't think, I said it before, I don't think they're going to slow down. I think they're going to keep pace. But I think they might go a little bit more, like, older games, not brand, brand new games with it. Yeah, backlog. Yeah, but but I mean, like, a game comes out now, and right away it's on PlayStation Plus, right? No. Um, if it comes out, Along, sometimes they'll have, like, a deal on it. Yeah, it'll yeah, be on exactly. special. That's what I mean. I'm not saying it's going to be free, brand new. 
Sometimes they do that, but rarely. I'm saying maybe now it's going to be like a month later or something like that. They'll put a discount on it. I just go for the Steam specials. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that um, with all, with the advent of all these HD remasters, it would be a, a cool thing to have them do well cheaper versions, like say like five or six bucks for an HD remaster of so and so game based on popularity. Yeah, but I mean, like most of the time when those HD remakes come out, they're like 20 bucks. forty bucks, thirty thirty to forty bucks, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> those PS2 remasters. Also, one thing to note was that free to play games on the PS4 won't require PlayStation Plus, but apparently, from what I remember hearing, that you need gold to play them on Xbox, which doesn't make sense if they're free to play. No, no, um, because on PlayStation what they do is they give you free to play, but the moment it stops being free to play, it's still on your system. You just can't access it because you have to sign up. So you can download them to your thing, but you can't play them unless you're connected to the Plus. Well, that's what this is saying. Free to play games on the PS4 won't require... That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. But then as soon as they're not free anymore, you still have them on your... No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm okay, talking about free-to-play games. Yeah. League of Legends is a free-to-play game. Okay, okay, like that you mean. Yes, okay. that type of free-to-play game. Not a free game they're th giving away. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, apparently that won't require a uh, Plus membership. I'm just calling it out. What? PlayStation Plus Plus and Xbox Platinum. What? It's going to happen. <laughs> plus, plus, no, plus, plus. No, plus squared. It's plus squared. Super plus. Super yeah. plus. Super plus. <laughs> Not bad. Maybe. All right. Uh, what? I was going to say, PlayStation, PlayStation Plus looked like pre-com. <laughs> PlayStation multiplied. It's bad. Anyways, so uh, let's get into uh, the Last of Us discussion, I guess. Yeah. Well, to talk too much about the story, but just generally of the overall experience and, you know, choices they made when playing the game because I know Matt beat the game Sean's about oh halfway through and me God. and Brandon are probably near the beginning-ish yeah I'm about not two hours not even you haven't touched so it so then this discussion goes nowhere I don't own it so. you can't spoil it no we're not going to talk about the story we're going to talk about like the only thing that's about I mean the only thing about the game no there's a lot of things that no, I we're going like. to talk about the game like okay so they made it's a survival game right so there's obviously there are choices made in the design of the game that were made specifically for the game, not in any sort of realistic sense, because why the fuck can't, like, I should be holding, I, I should be hoarding bullets, I mean, they're so hard to find, like, right, but instead I can hold 12, the fuck is that yeah, bullshit? And his bag isn't big enough, apparently, yeah, apparently the giant not. backpack on his back. Well, to, to be fair, he's holding a bunch of stuff in that backpack. No, all of his dozen weapons are on his back. Plus every single collectible that he's ever got, which is bunches <laughs> of like, with yeah, all those clippings. There's a journal on, like, clippings. Like, Ali's like, what are you doing in there, Joel? I'm taking a shit. And she comes inside, and he has, like, a scrapbook, and he's got sprawled out. <laughs> he's been scrapping, okay? Leave him alone. Uh, I like throwing bricks at people. Yeah, Me too. the bricks are the best. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Slamming people Maybe in the face of the very useful later yeah. on. Very yeah, I, useful. I find the shooting horrible, though. Absolutely horrible. I'm really, it's, I'm not, I keep sorry? on getting headshots. I'm just so good with it. You're yeah. <laughs> a boss. I find it's 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 just sluggish. Yeah. And, like, I find a lot of the game is just sluggish. sensitivity. No, well, I mean... It's what I did. I did almost on max. So I can, I'm spinning around. Spinning around. Yeah. So you, you mean, mean, like, moving, like, aiming is a bit sluggish? Yeah. It's sensitivity funny you said that. It. Because, Mark, uh, actually... Yeah, I was, I was with same you last thing. night. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but he was saying Uncharted was like that, too. Uncharted's gunplay was great. Okay, yeah. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah, just, but it had a cursor. Huh? Uncharted yeah. had a cursor. This doesn't have a cursor. It has a cursor when you aim. Yeah. Well, not quite. I mean, for the bow, it does. No, everything. No, does everything it? has I a cursor. When, when you hold L1, there's a cursor. I, I didn't there's just no... You can't You can't just run and gun like an no, Uncharted. No, no, yeah, you can't do that. But. Yeah, you can't blind fire. Yeah, the one the other thing is that is like when you're trying to like strangle people or whatever. I, I like if you you're trying move. to get around them, I find it a, a really annoying to like move. It's sluggish. I cut so many angles in that game. I'm surprised I made it through. To <laughs> I mean, I don't know how I did it. Sometimes like they they're blind on their blind spots. They're really like yeah. the peripherals yeah. are yeah. zero. Yeah, especially if you're like crouched <laughs> down in a yeah. dark spot. <laughs> well, no, that makes sense because you're in a dark spot. He's like next to you. He's basically touching your leg in the <laughs> sunlight, bright day. In the, uh, yeah. That happened to me already, where this guy was like maybe two or three meters away right. from me, but he was staring like at a, like parallel, not parallel, like a perpendicular angle. Yeah. Like I'm like, yeah, no. like a 90 degree angle. Kind of. The biggest thing I found that was really bad, like all this, I didn't really care. It was playable still. I didn't. It didn't oh no, it's me. fully no, no, playable. I, 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 I noticed it, I but I didn't care. 
But the thing I did care about was when I would run across the map and then all of a sudden my companion would follow me. But run through every single enemy oh, on the way yeah. there and not be seen yeah. because they're all that invisible. <laughs> that bothered me a lot. Yeah, Maybe but she's see, a ghost. no, but she would get in my way and she would get in their way. Like I told Sean the other day, I was trying to get through a door. I was behind the table. Ellie got in front of a guy and he couldn't get through the door. They stuck. They, they they blocked each other. But another guy came walking around the other side of the table. <laughs> so I I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. And I had to get out of there. I got so lucky that that the guy didn't see me. Uh. But she blocked the guy. From going through the door, and he was spinning around like he wasn't just standing there. He was just wigging out. Yeah. <laughs> so she she's invisible, but she's in the way. I find Ellie always tries to get in front of me and beat me to the chase whenever I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, they it's it's good that they did it like that though because if she wasn't invisible, this game would take. Three times longer to beat. Yeah, but they could have made you made her follow you a lot better. Yeah, there could have been better. Yeah, but instead of doing that, they just made her invisible. Exactly. So it's Everybody was invisible, especially when it was her and Tess following you. Yeah, and they had two people running around yeah, the map invisible. Yeah, but but like it's noticeable that this is Naughty Dog, which is weird because like I guess they did their Uncharted series. Well, the graphics. Like, so cool. The graphics, yes. The this when you spin the camera, there's this weird motion blur to it, which yeah. I noticed also. Yeah, their face is blur when. Yeah, do. exactly. There's motion a blur. blur. To that motion blur. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, and like you guys were saying with the pathfinding with AI in all the Uncharted was the exact same thing. They were dumb as bricks. Yeah, but at least they killed stuff. <laughs> oh, the, Ellie, she does Ellie too. Kills stuff. Too. Ellie kills a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah, some guys on you, and she shivs them in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's always good. But I, what I was gonna say is that. <laughs> I think that it's it's necessarily rough. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. I feel like everything they did they did intentionally to make it so that when you're playing the game, it isn't as smooth as it could be. Well, it's a survival game, right? They wanted it to be a little bit more realistic, and unfortunately, realism isn't exactly the quickest thing ever. It's a video no. game; it can't <laughs> because, be real. And like, no, but see, the thing is, in in, in video games, you expect everything to be very um, like responsive. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with their not having that because um, I think that Uncharted and, and The Last of Us are sort of diametrically opposed to each other and that Uncharted, everything was too easy. Mm -hmm. Like you, it became a joke <laughs> at how like... Climbing. And climbing was a joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, okay, so he could have just like teleported to the top in the time that it took him to climb this wall. Like he's just like, he like hops, but he's hopping continuously. It looks stupid. In The Last of Us, it takes longer there are lulls yeah, where you're not gotta fighting. Walk, you can't run at some yeah. point. And I'm okay with that. I think that this is the type of game that it'll win Game of the Year because game reviewers who play 20, 30 games a year are sickened by oh, how play games... play more than that. <laughs> play 40, 50, no, 60 but I, games a year. Like big, big title releases. Yeah. There's not 60, many for 64, 72. 72, 73. <laughs> like you had mentioned, the only other big title so far is Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite, Infinite. Bioshock Infinite yeah. So that's um, two so far. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're talking about big titles, I mean, like, they play a lot of games. No, well, not just big like titles. But anyways, yes. anyways. What I'm trying to get at is that people like to see, especially, I think, now, games that are not games. They sort of try to reflect... I don't know, the, the medium that they're trying to explore besides video games. Because it's sort of like, it looks like it's a video to some extent when you're experiencing it. Because I, I know a lot of people who are not satisfied with playing games unless they feel like games. And that's sort of what you're bringing up. Uncharted looked like it was a movie, but played like a video game. The Last of Us does not play like a video game because it's, it feels old. It feels dated, right? Why do you think it feels dated? This The swimming feels Yeah, the, the swimming was very sluggish, like... He wouldn't go where you would want him to. Yeah. Like, I would dive, and then he would go halfway, and then come back up, or he'd get stuck in something, mm -hmm. and then I'd die almost. The stealth feels... It feels good, <laughs> but it isn't as refined as, say, like a Dishonored, or even as Far Cry. Far Cry 3 had fantastic stealth. In, in The Last of Us, it feels like they're doing too many things, and a lot of it feels mediocre. But I felt it made sense, though. Because, like we said, he's not a soldier. He's yeah. just some random Joe that yeah. survived an apocalypse. Mm -hmm. So when he stealth <laughs> kills somebody, <laughs> he's not an assassin. No. So when he kills somebody, he's like, okay, obviously he's just strangling them or bashes them in the head with a brick. Yeah. Shivs. I think that all Shivs. of this is excusable just because it's a fantastic yeah. experience. It's got a very good atmosphere. Yes, very atmospheric. And the characters, I don't feel like anything they're saying is, um, 
a lot of it feels like it's developing character yeah. in them, even when they're not talking about anything in particular, which is much harder to do than well, it sounds like. That's why they added that. It's like an Uncharted. If you're just walking around randomly, yeah. they'll be talking to each other. Yes. That's why they added it. It's just for but in Uncharted, there were just like, you had um, Sully, and yeah. Sully was this like he this father figure big, yeah. who slept around with everyone, <laughs> and whenever he Sully was the best, okay, exactly. Yeah. But like it's just like <laughs> he's, he's just like oh, this reminds me of the time that I was in Cuba or Veradera, and then but like it became trite. Whereas in in The Last of Us, their characters are are grounded in realism, right? Yeah. It's sort of the it's it's diametrically opposite to Uncharted. I think it, no one wears Hawaiian shirts and has a mustache. There no, was a guy, but he I don't know. Yeah, to say don't it. say anything. There was a oh, guy. There is a guy that's back. There is Sully is back. No, there is a guy that wears a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, I thought you were talking about like, you no. know, um, what's it called? Um, that TV show, um, Magnum PI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He South wore Park. he wore Hawaiian shirts and, and had a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually wanted to bring up that I have been really looking forward to a game for the 3DS that came out this week <laughs> called. Um, Call you just told us before. I can't remember what it's called anymore. Call of Duty? No, it's, it's <laughs> Call of Duty. Duty. Yes. <laughs> leave. It had, leave immediately. Project Cross Zone? Is that what it's? No, Project Cross Zone. No, no, that isn't what it's called. I don't know why I'm going to like... This is the, the, the Apple Cross just... Capcom thing? Yeah, but there's a sequel to it. Yeah, I saw it was coming to North America. Yeah. But it it's, I thought it was for... I, I didn't know it was for handheld. Yeah, 3DS. came out this week. Came out what was it called? I saw it just before. Was it, was it something on the Cross before? Zone? Or? Yeah, something Cross Zone. Alex, you remember what that game was called? No, I don't know. <laughs> Are you okay with it? Anyways, what? there's a game that came out this past week that I've been looking forward to since the new year, and I, it finally came out. I only put about an hour into it, but I'm pretty stoked. It essentially has... Um, it's Sega, Namco, Bandai, and... Sega's still around. Sega still there makes games. They don't... They don't uh, they're pu they're publishers okay. that don't have video games. You're thinking of making a new console, I believe. Oh, yeah? No way. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's Brandon Sega... Brandon is full of shit. Namco, <laughs> Bandai... Namco, Namco, Bandai. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. That's a lot of and consoles that are just like from Japan. <laughs> and, like, it has, like, this really exciting cast of characters in it that I'm really pretty stoked to. A rousing cast. Because is it Sonic? No, Sonic there's no thing. Sonic, but like on the Sega front... Yeah, it's Project Cross Zone. Project Cross Zone. Or X Zone or whatever the fuck. Oh, whatever happened to that game there uh, that <laughs> I played on the Xbox there with... It was the first interactive one almost. The first there interactive? There was only two of them and then it Shenmue. stopped. Shenmue. That's it. Shenmue Oh, two. Shenmue. The, whatever happened to Shenmue 3, damn it. Get yeah, it back. That never, that's never going to Well, they went Shenmue online. Shenmue online. Shenmue online, There was yeah. for a bit. Yeah, and then it got cans. Yeah. I actually, if I can bring this up, before we get into maybe the question of the week, I was recently exploring, mentally exploring, the different ways that story and gameplay come together in video games. And I realized that there's still this divide between sort of what Adam had brought up before, where there's an expectation that a game should play like a game, irrespective of the narrative. And so The Last of Us, if it played a lot like Uncharted, there would be a lot of dissonance in the way that the player was experiencing the game and the way that they were playing it. It would probably be a lot easier. It would be, it would be easier. The, but game, be, the game itself would play easier. Yeah. The, no, the game would feel more polished. It, would, it might still be difficult, but then it would exaggerate how real Joel and Ellie are. Right? I mean, if he, it is sort of slightly exaggerated anyways, but if you were fighting someone every five minutes and when you were fighting people, it was in these big extravagant situations where he's just barely getting by. That would deter from the narrative, I think. You would look at him less as a person and more of a video game character. And I'm just curious to hear what you guys think about what your, t your favorite types of video games are in relation to the stories that they have. Do you care about story? Obviously, gameplay is important. Do you think gameplay is more important than mediocre story? with mediocre gameplay like how do you guys feel that well we could talk about action rpgs in that case right. because they tend to have more of a story in them being rpgs in themselves right but then they have the action feel of games themselves right they're uh, they're very fast paced and stuff like that so like you can easily go into like like kingdom hearts for instance mm -hmm. amazing game yeah it's oh, amazing yeah. right and but the story is extremely like you know it's it's, it's linear no, no, I'm talking about the story. Yeah, it's very blunt. General. It's very what are you talking stupid. about? Stupid. It's crazy. It have you like <laughs> actually stupid. checked the yeah, story? I have. It's fucking. It's the most convoluted piece of exactly, shit. Exactly. I know that. 
it's, it's like, convoluted. No, but it's, it's like convoluted complex. complex and it's, just, of, it's complex for the sake yeah, of being complex. That's There's why no, you. But if you that's why you remember it. it. If you understand, I don't it, remember. It, it gets more confusing. To, to be fair, uh, I agree with Brandon, but. I still like it. But like exactly. But I actually, I've I've lost a lot of interest in Kingdom Hearts. But That's I know a lot of people. There's no number no, sequel that hasn't been out yet. At the end of it all, seven years. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of it all, it's a very simple story. It's very easy to understand. Yeah, it. it's What's simple happening? and clean. Really, it's uh, yeah. simple and clean. <laughs> well, anyways, what I was trying to say is that some people write in a convoluted way. For example, uh, for <laughs> PS2. Um, Xena Saga, the Xena Saga trilogy is fantastic. It's an actually, it's an amazing series, but it, it is. The game was such a pain in the ass to play through. They're called Japanese RPGs. They're no, all but so, some reason. of them aren't. <laughs> the the Shimagami Tensei series typically are known for having a minimalist story with good writing, and so they don't need to explain constantly and ad nauseum things that would just overcomplicate the story. And so there's there's both extremes and both of them are, are Japanese. I think that What about Suikoden? Suikoden? Yeah, that was a hell of a game. Yeah, but I mean story wise, like they're all political stories. Yeah, well the f I played You what? played all of them. No, I didn't play the first one. I have the first one. I, I never played the first no, one. I played two to one. five including the stupid fucking four. <laughs> I was gonna say what about Mel Gear? Yeah, I never played any Metal Gear. I you don't play Metal Gear? No. Have you tried the fourth no, one? No, I've never played any. It's of them. fantastic. What? I couldn't bother. I played Splinter Cell. You Spinner couldn't Cell. bother. I Splinter Cell Spinner Spinner sucks in Spinner comparison. Spinner 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 yeah, but that's what I got into. Splinter Cell doesn't suck. Games, yeah, they, in exactly. comparison. Yeah, they're different games, but I prefer the stealth in Splinter Cell than in Metal Gear Solid. Mm. Mm. There is no stealth in Metal Gear. Exactly. It's stealth, yeah. but it's. Yeah. Well, the fourth one is leaps and bounds better than any of the other ones. And I've heard bad things about Metal Gear. Like, Leaps and bounds. Was like it, the old ones are old. Like they, gameplay wise, like just in mechanics they aged, right? But the fourth one is just it's well, it's it's a good game. Was it Metal Gear Solid Two that was the world not inside the world or whatever it was? Like it was a simulation. Yeah, you see, I would have hated that. I'm glad I didn't play that game because I would have hated myself for playing it, and I would have hated the game, <laughs> and I probably would have stopped playing. Well, no, it was the real world. That's yeah, just it's that just using the a, simulation and all that. And they explained it didn't it. happen. No, it, it did happen. It's just like there was an AI. There's an yeah, AI that rules the United States. If they would have the thrown that twist at the end, I would have said, "Okay, fuck this, I'm done." Yeah, but I'm it actually did happen. Game. It's not like some. Yeah, but I wouldn't have played it life. again. Bro, it's real. It's real life. Good point. Imagine if they make a game based on real life. I think it just like Sims. Aliens. The Sims. 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 Nah. No, I mean like if they make a game, like what about Six Days in Fallujah? Is that out or is it coming out yet? Six Days in Fallujah. Yeah. What the fuck is that? You never heard of this game? I think you're making shit up. No, no. there's a game called Six Days in Fallujah. You gotta take a Anyone beer heard of this? Oh my god. You no. guys. That's the question. That's the question. Have you ever heard of this, this game? This is my question. Have you ever heard? Of... No, but no, it's it's. Some, I, How do you spell Fallujah? Maybe it's not six days. Maybe it's like nine days. It doesn't change anything. I've never heard the word Fallujah before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if it's nine Fallujah. days, I've heard of that game. <laughs> yeah, of right. course. <laughs> of course. I'm playing that right now. Uh, uh, speaking of games this week. Atomic game. Oh, it's not, no, it's not released yet. There we go. I told you. But it's okay, like... It exists. A, it's a historical third-person shooter. That's what I'm telling you. It's... It's real oh, life, bro. Riveting. Oh man, I remember back when the 360 first came out, the History Channel were, was making games, okay? And they're all set in like, you know, Civil War or something like that. And you had like m m uh, muzzle-loaded rifles and like uh, like uh, flintlock pistols and stuff like that. It was, it was retarded. <laughs> and it takes like eight seconds to load your gun or whatever. And then like every shot you take misses anyways. <laughs> That's funny. And like... you have like bayonets and you're like stabbing people. And the graphics were horrible. These were like one of the first few games that came out for the Xbox. So like within the first six months or some of that. Horrible, horrible games. Yeah. But absolutely hilarious. And you want to just try them just because they're so bad. Yeah. yeah. One it's of those games. Of games where the developers... After working a good long day of making this game, would go home and beat their wives, and the wives <laughs> would accept. <laughs> it's okay, honey. You're working on the worst game that will ever come out. It'll be sold to people who think it's Call of Duty. They'll go home and play it, and gouge their eyes out, and become homeless because they'd rather something along those lines. Not yes. ever experience life or happiness again. It's good. Oh, Way to bring the mood down. <laughs> Way to go, Sean. On that note, we're done. <laughs> uh, so, other than uh, The Last of Us, what have you guys been playing this week? 
League of Legends. <laughs> League of Legends. Okay. Alex, anything? Started playing Magic here again with you today. Want to play Portal Two, but you bastard, you don't install it yet. Uh, it's eleven my, gigs. My, my Portal Two crashed last week. Portal Two so is have huge. I still didn't download that. It's huge. Because of Steam, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna be all day. Why is it eleven gigs? I don't know. There's uh, downloadable huge. content and all that. It's oh. massive. Still Portal? Has yeah, Portal Two. Yeah. What's what's wrong with that? Eleven gigs. It's gonna take me all day to download that on Steam. You wonder how long it took me? How long? Two minutes. Because of your stupid internet. Your three K fucking downloads. How is your crazy internet? Dude? I don't. A fucking auto is <laughs> retarded. <laughs> The the most, our internet to sucks. A... He gets unlimited internet, and he downloads stuff at like two megs a second on Steam. I have yeah, one point. Stupid. Megs, stupid. How much? It, yeah, how much does it cost for your internet? It's Forty bucks a month. What? It's probably because he's under like a satellite or something. It's like he's next to the internet company. That's it. <laughs> he's next to Bell. <laughs> no, no, he's what, some other company. What, what company are you with? Uh, Akanic. Akanic. Yeah, Akanic. Yeah, kind of. Mechanic? Can't. Don't you have Akanak? No, we have some Canic. random shit. Is that even here in yeah, Quebec? Yeah, it's in Montreal. It's in Montreal. Yeah, it's really? Yeah. So why don't we have that? It's so much better. I've never heard of that before. Because it's third party, that's why. Yeah. It's like... You buy it's sketchy. You're gonna steal a bunch sketchy. of his money and he's just... Like, no, <laughs> you not buy, you buy a year's worth of internet and oh, really? that's it. Really? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's you paid awful. for a year's worth of internet in one sitting? Yeah. What? They're not going to give you your money back and they're just going to cancel it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is really sketch. It's a pyramid $700. scheme. <laughs> 700 bucks for a year. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Of super fast, That's unlimited internet. It doesn't even have, like, any limit on it. Nope, it's great. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It sounds like they're siphoning it from another company and just... Yeah, well, they're backdooring it through another company yeah. and giving you their internet. You know, maybe. Oh, like, the yeah. way it works is that, like, they probably, like, they technically rent out the fiber optic space or whatever say like say like underground there's this huge tunnel where cable runs through mm -hmm. and bell owns like all the whole cables. thing so mm -hmm. it's basically all bell cables and then they buy a bell internet and then they sub they just sell it for super cheap because yeah. they can i don't know how but so yeah like alex said we played magica like today for like an hour magica. or something like that magica it's, it's a pc game yeah i know what it is. and you just you basically just mix you have eight different elements and you mix them all together to it's make funny. different spells that it's you fucking control. hilarious especially if you're it's the so asshole funny. in the party that decides to put a shield around everybody <laughs> and they start casting shit and they all kill themselves yeah that's <laughs> the one fucking thing hilarious. it's so annoying because friendly fire is all on and yeah. if you start doing some crazy like uh, because you can do you can do lightning spells but it chains onto yourself yeah oh, so it you chains to the closest thing the I keep hitting Alex with it no but the annoying thing is the uh, you have killed me so many times for that fucking lightning shield <laughs> just it's don't not use my lightning. fault. Just don't use lightning. That's a simple thing. No, the one thing is no, use lightning in conjunction with everything else, but not all lightning alone. When you're using like area of effect spells, and you just start hitting your own teammates but and stuff like that, it takes elements into effect. If you step into water, you're more prone yeah, to take damage from lightning. Yeah, and you kill yeah. yourself you even can if you just use it on something else because uh, you're wet. Yeah, you can freeze the water too to make ice on so top. So you can of walk it. on top. You can melt it with fire. Yeah. So you it's can, yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> good. But it's got nice physics for the people. elements and stuff like that. Everything makes sense. Um, I wasn't too crazy about the controls. I keep getting confused with it because, like, you have like f eight buttons on your keyboard, and then you have to hold shift to use an area of effect spell. But you can also hold shift to use your sword. And depending if you're right clicking or left clicking or middle clicking, yeah, it does all that. kinds of crazy stuff. Like it takes some getting used to. Like some of the yeah, spells it's, take. It's, there's a learning group. There is a learning. Well, it's not that it's hard. You it's gotta just, remember it's it all. Confusing in the hands. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You just have to remember it. It's like, right like click some sends of the it out. Left click sends it around, and middle click sends it on you to yourself. But shift and left click will send it on your sword, and shift sword. and right click will send it in an area of effect. But some of the like, abilities are like four buttons, and they're four different elements put together to make yeah. one ability. Yeah. So you got to remember all it's this. But they give intricate. you a list. They actually give you a list every time you push an element or something. What do the graphics look like? Um, Not they're bad. okay. They're, they're like three D. It's it's well, isometric view. Yeah. And you go around. It's it's like uh, but it's old stuck Baldur's on your gates. screen. You can't escape each other. You have yeah. to stay on the it's screen. Yeah. Like, it's it's like one of those old isometric RPGs where you run around on like consoles. It's like Diablo. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, can, I'm surprised you didn't. Yeah, you can actually trap someone in a corner by a bunch of enemies and have them get killed. Yeah, that's why I love the uh, emergency teleport staff. Yeah, there's teleporting. It's well, the only with that one staff. Yeah. 
Oh, Adam, I found a staff today. I played a little bit longer. Yeah. found a staff that lets you summon uh, an, uh, um, it's like a tree element. It's a okay. big tree guy. It was great. Is he really <laughs> strong, I'm guessing? What? Oh. It's He's really strong, I'm guessing? I don't know. I haven't used him. I only oh. use the, the teleportation staff because it's the best. So you're telling me about this tree and you don't know what it does. Well, I summoned it and you fight against a ton of them. Oh, okay. Sounds cool. Um, other than that, I was playing this tower defense game that I was showing you guys before. No, but it's like, it's an RPG tower defense. You don't have towers. <laughs> they kind of... They're people. The towers aren't towers, they're, they're people. characters. And they level up and you can give them skills and you buy them equipment. And uh, other than that, it's basically tower defense outside of that. But there's a story, it's not terrible. It gets this kind of... Like um, Final Fantasy tower defense. Yeah, it does look like the Final Fantasy Tower Defense. It actually says that in the description. It's it's like Final Fantasy Tactics, but it's Tower Defense. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah that's funny. But they actually have a Final Fantasy Tower Defense yeah. game. Yes, they yes, do. They it's do. Dungeon, uh, Crystal Defenders or Dungeon yeah. Defenders. Yeah. No, I've Dungeon Defenders is another game. Defenders. Crystal Defenders. I had it on my iPad, I think, a long time ago. But see, it's funny how people say that. They're like, oh, it's a lot like Final Fantasy Tactics, except it doesn't have the rich adult themes that the actual <laughs> game explores. It's actually just a child's version of Final Fantasy Tactics. Okay. Nobody can compare to Final Fantasy Tactics. Okay, Nothing. they're not comparing the story to Final Fantasy Tactics. So wait, you said rich adult themes, so, I mean, rich people? I want nudity. nudity. Rich adults. I want nudity. <laughs> if it's for adults, I want Is nudity. Is it rich nudity or rich adult themes, like rich people themes? Rich rich people that are naked. Yeah. Oh, it's a vote. Yes. Rich people who are So it's the internet. <laughs> Did you play anything this week, Brandon? Or you just been working too much? I I finally finished Nino Kuni. Oh wow. But I was doing a bunch of the side quests. Still have to play that. It's pretty good. I can lend it to you. It's pretty I'll good. In two days. Yes you will. I, I put fifty five hours into it. Oh yeah? I mean average so I'll take three. So you can't yeah. you can't beat it in two yeah, days. I'll take three. Yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, I, that's with all the side quests. If you skip the side quests, which I was in, don't. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, it would take a good, maybe Did you, 35 you minutes. actually beat the last boss? Yeah. I died against the last boss. I, I died the first time. Oh. I died at the last, that last boss. No, he didn't give up. He said, fuck it. I didn't give up. I did that on nine, <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy IX. It's, it's a slight difference. It it's a slight difference. It's the definition of... Like, you were angry when you did it. I was defeated. Yeah, I just I, cause how I, many times have you did you try to beat the last once. boss? Okay. But it's just like there was like there's 25 minutes until I got yeah. to that point where I died. I'm like I did exactly the same thing to Final Fantasy IX. And you just stopped. Yeah, I be, I, <laughs> I, I I farmed was, for hours to get the spells to beat the last boss. I died. I'm like fuck this. I can beat him. I just don't feel like it. That was me in Kingdom Hearts too. I, I tried it and I'm like, ah, I'll just watch my brother beat it. <laughs> yeah. but that's actually, so fun. That's actually fantastic that you beat me, Nakuni. I mean, it's been a it's been a while since you've beat a Had game. It, yeah. I know. I'm looking at my backlog of games and I've beaten about maybe ten or twelve games. That's good. And I have another fifteen to beat. <laughs> well, I guess Assassin's Creed two, Brotherhood three. I haven't even touched oh, it. You gotta beat all of them though. You gotta beat. Oh all yeah, of you them. did buy them. <laughs> Three of them is a little. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I told it's not you worth it. I hope I told you that. Otherwise, that's, like that's, an that's, that's this not is the best about, game in the world. <laughs> let's not talk three. about three. Yeah. We're gonna start yelling at each other. That's how I feel with every Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Uh, Except no, for maybe two. It's because of Ezio. Two is fantastic. Fucking Ezio. It's because. Yeah, why do you hate Ezio? I hate Ezio. <laughs> he's, a, he's a prick. He's a prick. It's all about Altair. The silent and ugly Altair. If he was there in every game, I would have been happy. I blamed every mistake on Ezio. <laughs> All right, Brandon, what's the question this week? Have you guys played Nino Kuni? <laughs> um, no, it's, it's a bit of a... I mean, this is just... I just thought of it kind of randomly, but... I kind of meant to say, what game genre would you think would be ready for a revival in the next generation? Like, what, what, what have you seen, you know, has been just... Not as prominently. Yeah, I mean, like, regard, I mean, I wanted to say... Let's ignore Call of Duty in every case. Yeah, but that's first-person shooters are a prominence. Yeah, they've always it's been. It's not prominent. like an out-of-date yeah. genre that hasn't been around. Mm -hmm. So, like, what genres have you seen just fall 
well, to the, the wayside. The society. easy one is the music genre. Is yeah. dead. No fuck that. That's the never water. coming back because of it. Might you might see one or two come out, but not not a resurgence like the way like no people well, have they, talked about it. It's been used. No one's gonna want to get back into it. Like the guitar one that came out there, where you plug in a real guitar. Yeah, that the rocks that move. fucking bombed because nobody wants to do it anymore. Yeah, but they're releasing a new yeah. one, right? Rock. They are releasing a new Rocksmith. But I'm saying is that one might come out. You might see another guitar hero, another rock band. In the next yeah, cycle, fuck that, that it's it, possible that all it comes that shit's out. garbage. I mean, I played. I never played guitar here myself. I've seen it. Oh, really? I, I picked it up. It's a lot of fun. I played yeah, one song it. on it or something, but I'm like, this has nothing I to used do to be with really playing good at guitar. Oh, I couldn't push some colorful buttons, yeah. and I'm like, this is stupid. It's, it's it was entertaining. It's dance, yeah. dance revolution with a guitar in my hand. That's still around. I'd rather do dance, dance revolution than that. I could see them Here making you know. one game. Mm. I'd rather that's not a revival. That's just one it's game. not a revival, but I could see them making a game. <laughs> I'd rather well, he's answering his question. <laughs> I'd rather them bring back games like Sukuden, where you actually have to go out and find so hardcore JRPGs. Yes. You want every well, you have to go find your entire team and actually have a giant story that lasts more than sixteen hours. Like, how many games have you played that's? More than sixteen hours or something like that. You just played Nino Kuni. Besides for that, yeah, hours. <laughs> another JRPG. Yeah. yeah, something besides that. I agree. I think I'm really hopeful that they're going to bring back the JRPG. I actually, I'm hopeful that they'll bring back survival games, survival horror games. Yeah, I feel I, like there, there might be a resurgence of that. I was thinking about that because of The Last of Us. Yeah, exactly. So it's done well. Well, Resident yeah. Evil games they ported like, the. Uh, yeah, but Resident Evil games are action games now. They're not survival horror. But consider well, the, the fact that the ported one that they did. Ported. They ported one from the Vita. To the uh, uh, for the 3ds and to the yeah. uh, revelations. Yeah. That was that looks like an amazing one. I'm sp- I'm glad they ported that. I was thinking about getting it. Yeah, you should for the PS3. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> Sean wants to borrow from. Him. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Consider like. the fact that like the Resident <laughs> Evil series hasn't been that great lately. Yeah, Resident Evil completely switched. I don't Apparently, know why they're the original creator is is making a new game now though. Oh, a survival horror game. I think so. Yeah, it is a survival the clock horror. tower. You know what the last game he made was? Clock Tower was stupid. Clock Tower was amazing. The last game he directed was Vanquish. And that game... Uh, Vanquish? Yeah, was fantastic. Silent Hill we should make a game too. called Citizen She's Angry. Angry. Sorry? We should make a game called Citizen Angry. Citizen Angry? <laughs> what? Yeah. Citizen Kane. Anyways. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there isn't a lot of survival horror anymore. And any of the old franchises that were survival horror are just action games now. Like, when was the last time Silent Hill came out? It was like three, four years ago? Yeah, it was a while ago. Like Silent Hill Homecoming, six. right? What was yeah. it Homecoming? Wasn't that the last one? I thought it was the... Prom night. The one after the room. Wasn't that Homecoming? The, the picture was, with no, that, that, the that, that Polaroid on it's the a cover. a portrait, wasn't it? Wasn't it a Polaroid? I thought it was a portrait. I might be it was wrong. a picture of some kid oh, on no. the cover. Okay. I thought that was the last one. I thought it was actually a number. I don't know. I don't know. The fact that they're not even scary anymore, that they don't even really have atmosphere, is terrible. Like the Last of Us is a better horror game than most of these horror games are, even though it, it isn't a horror game. You yeah. know? It just has elements. It's, 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 what I mean to say? I would well, attribute it to more like a thriller. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a thriller. thriller. But like, given the fact that The Last of Us is, has been a clear success, do you see like in the next generation people taking note of that and just pushing through with newer I doubt horror? they will. It's like horror movies nowadays, too. They're all just gore. They're not yeah. horror. So they're not going to do the yeah. same with video games anymore. But I don't think, I don't think the video game... Segment stuff evolves, is, man. But they're not going to evolve. Dumb. They just follow whatever the trend is. That's not evolving. Yeah. Well, it changes. Well, it is, it's it, that following. Is evolving. It changed. It's following. Yeah, but it had to evolve before, and yeah. then everyone f- yeah, follows. They were it better the way they were again. before. Evolving implies something getting better. Not necessarily. It's something changing. That's true. I agree. From no, a that's a metamorphosis. That's a, that's a metamorphosis changing. <laughs> evolving is different. Not getting evolving. Evol- evolution is adopt adapting. Is adapt, but it's adapting to the ways the environment. The, the market yeah. is the environment it's, doesn't it's, mean it's, it's going like, to get better. It's like looking at your macroeconomic environment and then making the change. So it's more of a de-evolution then, because of the way they're going down, progressing towards something that's less than what they were before. Any input, just, Alex? <laughs> that's heavy, man. I didn't expect <laughs> on the on evolution, uh, on the, the evolution of the system, the evolution <laughs> or the question. We're gonna change the podcast to this like, on political the question. Question. On the question, <laughs> go um, for it. It's the I Last of Us. What's gonna be uh, remade or rather reborn? Yeah. Uh, collectathons. What? What? Collectathons. I think you're making shit up now. Collectathons. No. Pokemon. No. no. Okay. Um. Example: Super Mario 64. What's the object of that game? You collect. Like so you mean platformers? No, we mean yeah, like game, like Banjo Kazooie. That's what they are. Okay, like Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But there was I how many of those? I think three D platformers would be reborn. That's but that's any, that's any old Mario game. They come out with a Mario game every year. Yeah, but he no, thinks no. other people but, will start making. But they don't come with. Why am I saying this? Because <laughs> I have been I have been following a hat in time since the uh, since I saw it like a month ago. There's forty four hours left in the uh, Kickstarter. What was it? Is it? It's called a Hat in Time. It's a, um, a PC time. game that looks like Wind Waker and it's like a platformer. Oh shit! I'll show you a trailer of it later, please. It was it on was uh, Steam. Amazing, Greenlight. and they all they like they're not even done their their Kickstarter. They've got two hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars. They only wanted thirty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get for giving them more? You get a, um, a better game, hopefully. <laughs> no, they they offer things at higher prices. They, they no, give no, you no, something good. Yeah, they, like, they, they give you stuff for giving money. They don't give you stuff. Well, it depends. Sometimes there's like if we get like three times our money or whatever, that's we'll what do saying. this. That's what I'm saying about like, what, it's both. Adam. If it's You're beneficial, both. I'll. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna look. So like they they, they originally it was just gonna be single player at uh, fifty grand. They added a co-op mode. Okay, as it stands, they're at two hundred thirty-nine thousand six hundred sixty-five dollars. They yeah. asked for thirty thousand. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, thirty thousand was ridiculously low goal. Yeah, yeah. What were they asking for thirty thousand dollars? Oh, it's the same thing. FTL just, just to make it the game. When FTL was on Kickstarter, they asked for ten grand, and I can't remember what they got, but they got way more than ten grand. I think it was like two hundred k or some of that. Yeah, but the problem with that is that then it cuts into their profits because that's money that they're because they're giving away the game at that point, right? This is like them promising the game to people who are committing to becoming investors back in it. Yeah, exactly back in the game. game so then that that's fine they're like oh this is crazy but then once the game yeah, comes up, those are people you don't understand are Sean they're not spending money to make this game at all no other people are they're not spending the money to make this oh, game so even though all those people got the game for free anyone else that buys the game afterwards that's straight up profit into them because they didn't spend money on it mm. they got free money no. to make a game those people got the game fine if no one bought it they didn't lose anything but the point yeah. of the extra money is but to put it back into the, the game. Yeah, though, they were like they're still working full time jobs while working on this game. Yeah, because the moment. no one wants to back a game that doesn't have anything to show for it. So exactly. Yeah. But so th yeah, I've I've been following this, and this is the reason that I think that this genre will re be reborn. This game. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so either. If Mario you so? can't do it. I think that do you remember back on Nintendo 64 when uh, there was Super Mario 64? There was Banjo Kazooie, uh, there's Banjo Diddy Kong, Kazooie, obviously Donkey Kong um, 64. Donkey Kong 64. All these games were amazing, right? Yeah, but those all Nintendo, Bandicoot. by the way. <laughs> hmm? Crash Bandicoot. That was all Nintendo. Jackson and Dex. Or... Yeah, yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Sly Cooper. Those, these are not all Nintendo. Either. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> they weren't and, before. And Donkey Kong was rareware. Yeah, but platformers don't exist anymore. Not not nearly not in the sense as, that you think. Not in the conventional sense. I mean, the platformer today no, is Darksiders 2, which has been like an amalgamation of so many different genres that it just feels... I don't yeah. know, it just it feels archaic. You know, like, I, I when I play those types of games now, I'm, I'm thrown back into a different time period, which is good if you want to re-experience Mario 64. But. See, now, what do you think is going to happen? Because at this point, basically... It's all just a hybrid of a bunch of genres yeah. put together making games now. And then you have the other end of the spectrum where it's people are releasing games that are, it's almost like a nostalgic factor, but with better graphics. True. And they're simple in the way that they're like, they're made like they were made 10 years ago, but they have more refined yeah. gameplay. Uh -huh. Right? And. It's, it's like what Alex is saying. So if they were to come out with games like that, like just straight up platformers, right? I think people would buy them because they haven't had that in so long because now everything that comes out is trying to be something really new when you could just be something really old because it hasn't been around in so long. Exactly. Not only that, and what what are a ton of games that are coming out on Steam right now? A ton a of, lot of them are A lot of them are like, old-school fucking graphics. How yeah. many fucking 8-bit games and 16-bit games yeah, but I hate those. are coming out on Steam now? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about using new graphics, better-looking no, no, games that are my, just made my, my for an older time. This is people keep buying those games. Yeah, because people they're $2. Are looking for oldie, like, nostalgic type of games. So I'm, I'm, I think that 
EA and like the 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 big companies are gonna start making these because they're I they don't agree might with that. see the profit in them. I don't think the big companies will do that. I think Nintendo will because you know they're always gonna do that. Yeah. I don't think EA will make a platformer like well, that. I don't think Capcom. Ubisoft will make a platform like that. Capcom, totally mm. They've done Mega Man nine and ten. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man. Isn't it a three D adventure you now? They just need to release another Mega Man Legends is what they need to do. Oh <laughs> they, that would be good. They need to release Mega Man sixty four two. Yeah, okay. You know how many <laughs> Mega Man bosses they have and, now? <laughs> it's become a joke. Too. I know. All the bosses, they're just a joke now. No, but have you ever heard of Mega Man Legends before? No. It was like a... Yeah, it was so good. It was like an adventure game. Mega Man 64 was Mega Man Legends. Well, I did... Yeah. Was, okay, it was. Okay, so I did 64. Same thing. Yeah, I did Mega Man 64. Yeah. It was a little bizarre. I didn't exactly. Like the, I didn't like the way it looked. It was fun. It was very polygonal. Yeah. But that, well, yeah, it looked like that now. It was a PS1... <laughs> Imagine if they came out with that. I don't good. think it would do that, dude. No one knows who Mega Man is anymore. But they need to make it the old Mega Man. I would like that resurgence. Re- a resurgence of taking a uh, intellectual property that is like a 2D platformer and turning it into... A cowboy western. <laughs> <laughs> no. Softcore porno. <laughs> Mega Man. Ooh, Mega Man. Oh, X Mega Man. Zero is broke back mountain. <laughs> <laughs> no, turning it into another game. Like, same intellectual property, but Maybe a completely no different game? gameplay game. Like different gameplay, okay. like different genre, just the same intellectual properties. Like Mega, like Mega Man, Mega Man Legends, or Mega Man sixty four. It was a two D platform, and now it's a three D adventure, right? But they fucked yeah. up a lot of games. Like and that. then they did the same thing with with fucking Sonic. with uh, no with uh, Metroid. Metroid was a two D platformer, and then it was a three D first person yeah. shooter, right? With Prime, yeah. yeah. But yeah. they go really in wrong directions with a lot of. Those I know, games. but I'm not saying that. Like if it's done well, well yeah, if it's done well, but they've tried this before. And no, a lot of people yeah, didn't do it, right? Good, but sometimes, sometimes it's done well, and sometimes it's not. But the chance? Do you want to take that chance? I would love to take the chance. Fuck yeah! yeah of course. They yeah. fuck up like ten really good titles to get one out. No, no, but let, let's let's do that for a second. You have the publisher who owns the IP, Metal Gear Solid, which is owned by Konami. Turn it into a platformer. Which they turned from a stealth game into an action game with Metal Gear Rising, which I think was done exceptionally well because they handed it to a developer which has a specialty in doing action titles. Mm. I think that that could work very, and I think that that okay. is the future of these IPs. Imagine turning Halo into, I don't know, it's a kart it's racer. Yeah, a kart go. racer, a, a Halo sports game, kart. a sports game, a, a new Halo, a new leisure suit Larry game. Yeah, well, all these new adventure games, <laughs> hitting on all, the AI. <laughs> they all feel the same, like Tomb Raider. Mm-hmm. Far Cry, even uh, Metal Gear Solid, the new one, they're all going to feel the same kind of... They're just going to advance a little bit more in graphics. You know, seriously, there's only two ways that that works. You ha- It's always a side-scroller, and it always turns into like a adventure game or a first-person shooter. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah. that I think about it, that's the only way it ever happens. Yep. Unless you're taking like a 3D game and putting and turning it into a side-scroller. Because mines are too <laughs> simple. They need the first-person shooter. It's more simple with, mm. than the side scrollers. Or well. the first-person perspective, at least. I think it's easier to animate an inanimate floating camera. And then when you look down and you don't see your feet. Some games have feet, <laughs> but then it's just weird to see you moving. Because it's just wobbly feet. That's kind yeah. Of constantly this is you running. moving when you're yeah. just like. It's just constantly tapping. running. Yeah. Yo, man, it's not easy making games. <laughs> make yeah, them better, Davin. You hear us? Make them better. We should make a game. No, okay. <laughs> he did. We have someone here that did make a game. Yes. Still doing that. Advertise it. Yeah. No, we'll have another sale, actually. Um, there's going to be, like, a flash sale, so it's going to be, like... I think it's supposed to be, like, 66% off, okay. so it's five bucks for eight hours. I, I thought you meant you were going to convert your game into Flash no, and no. then sell <laughs> it. Make it run in Excel. <laughs> it's a Flash how sale. There is games that run in Excel. You know how yeah. slow that game is going to run yeah. if they put it to Flash? Very badly. Um, unless you make it a different game, they were yeah. actually thinking about that like a long, long time ago, making like like an iPad or a mobile game that was oh like a tower God. defense, but it, literally a tower defense. Okay, game. Like so you put tower defense downs, and they had waves come, so it would be more traditional no, tower this defense than better. what our game is. This looks a lot better. You know what? You know what? I thought about my question. The only reason why I thought about it, it was because I kept on hearing about tower defense and how it kind of sickens me to hear so many tower defense, like indie tower defense games. Well, yeah, because it's easy to make. Everybody makes it. <laughs> no, but it's super easy. How many of these can you There's make? There's a lot. Yeah. You just have to change the look of the tower. You know how many flash yeah. games there are? <laughs> there are so many flash games, like flash TDs. Not to mention there are so many, like, World of Warcraft... I'm sorry, Warcraft 3 mods that are tower defense. Yeah. Okay. You know what I was thinking? They should make another cyberpunk setting game. 
Those seem to do really well. For what was the last one? The one for the PS3 that was awful? The Last of Us? Remember me? <laughs> what? <laughs> the last one of us. <laughs> so I'm thinking steampunk, not steampunk. cyberpunk. Steam. What? Last steampunk was Dishonored. Or Bioshock. Yeah, Bioshock. Before that, before that, it was like a third person shooter, and it Did was like it very rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we played we're like a long rough. time ago. You were getting like gold trophies. Remember that game? <laughs> I'm not sure. We rented this like Western game that was a piece of shit. We beat a level on any difficulty. It gave you a gold oh. trophy. It's like Terminator. You like beat like three yeah. levels. Oh. They just they're rewarding the worst. you for playing the game. They're like, here's a platinum for enduring this game for twenty five minutes. <laughs> yeah, Terminator Salvation yeah. had like <laughs> seven trophies. Yeah. Six of them were beat a level, and you get a gold trophy. Oh and then the last God. one was a platinum. Yeah. I got that. I am ashamed to say that I got that. <laughs> you played the whole game. I didn't even. Bother. Yeah, that was funny. I, at one point, me and Sean were competing. And and yeah. we were like, yeah, I got just as many platinums as you. I got more golds. Yeah, because you played Terminator Salvation, you bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But you got Unch- I played on the first Uncharted like three times. Three yeah. times before, before trophies released, came out. G- exactly. And Adam oh, got a platinum in that game. You didn't get a platinum. I got there was a new one. Yeah, yeah. I think I yeah, I got a fucking platinum in Just Cause Two. So whatever you say is moot. <laughs> moot. No. That game, I can't play sandbox games anymore. You know, like, it's gonna, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna bother me now. GTA. This, this, what was the name of this game that you said it was a western? It was crappy. And it, Six western. Days of Fallujah. Six Days of Fallujah. Wait, the in western was uh, it? Wasn't Call of Juarez? Was it? No. Juarez. 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 Um, Call of Juarez. I don't think so. Well, no, but all the Red Dead were good. Steampunk. You're talking about Steam. No, no, the game. western game. All Red Dead was. Oh no, so we fun. can check it yeah. out afterwards. I'm sure. Zombie and the Nightmare. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of. Um, have you guys heard of State of Decay or something? Yes. I heard about that. It's an Xbox yeah. game, right? Yes, I've heard of it. I feel like you'd like it, Alex. You should check it out. He probably already knows about it. What is it called? State of Decay. Look it up. State of <laughs> Decay? Undead Labs? I sure. suppose. What is it? It's a zombie game? Yeah, it's, it's like a survival game. But it's, it's, a zombie it's like DayZ, but like it plays... Yeah, like, I was just going to say it looks like DayZ. But it places like a huge emphasis on like colonizing different locations. So you get like different AI people that you actually... Oh, really? Yeah, and exactly. Like a huge emphasis on managing resources. And like, yeah. should I accept these three survivors because, you know, they'll provide me with... Okay, that new one that just came out there. That's yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, 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 it's relatively new. It look, yeah, yeah. I would I would own that if it was for the PlayStation, but it's only, I think, for the Xbox. And maybe is it on PC? Yeah, it's on, it's it's on, on 360, PC. and Microsoft Windows is to be announced. Oh, oh yeah, so it's not yeah. even out for Windows or for I PC would get yet. That. No, it's only on Xbox. I've actually a lot of Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> um, Xbox 360? Yeah, that. Yeah, no, I've heard a lot of good things about that. Yeah, so have I. Anyways, that's it for us. Catch you guys next week. Catch you on the flip side. Yeah.